Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. Uh, I'm on step four, the last step for my pipe gate. I've got the fence all up. I've got the uh, barbed wire, decorative barbed wire in. I need to put that gate in right there, the silver one. And then I need to put in this big heavy uh, pipe gate here. Now, this has got a lot of leverage coming out at it. And uh, while the pipe is down in the ground right now, there's actually not a lot of pipe for me to put in the ground so so I'm gonna treat that pipe gate as if it's a 16 foot wooden gate I'm gonna use the same structural stuff on that that people have already done I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel uh, when I looked online at the engineering specs for a 16 foot heavy gate uh, what did they say they said three foot down two foot across uh, so I'm gonna dig a hole and that's why I waited till the evening I'm gonna dig a hole and I'm gonna build a hole for that in addition I've got a couple other things that I'm gonna add to this assembly all right the first thing is I've got these pylons that I bought that are gonna go down to the concrete and then I'm going to straighten it and then pour concrete onto the pipe so that there'll be some rebar sticking up here this will be down into the concrete. There'll be concrete poured on here. That should be enough to keep that pipe gate straight. Uh, I want it as straight as possible because if it's got an angle to it and you open it, you'll feel the weight will change and it'll be a different leverage point. I want it straight up and down so that I can grease it every year and uh, move forward. So it's not tapped and drilled for grease certs yet. I might get around to that as well. Uh, but at least let me dig the hole in the evening. Um, I had 112 today out here. So, and no rain uh, for the whole month of August. No rain, zero rain, no raindrops for this whole month. So, uh, I am fatigued. The dog digs of summer have already kicked in. Every year when I'm building this thing off grid, when I hit the summer, uh, I slow down. Let me test this before I get too far into all of this and make sure that. I measured properly. Oh, good. Yep, good enough. I am happy. All right, so in addition to the hole I'm going to dig tonight, I've got to uh, move that, um, and it is getting dark. I hope this works in the camera. I've got to move that uh, white limestone out. I have a hole that I drilled in here and ended up not liking it. So I think if I did something like this, and then just two foot around from that, and then I'll stonework it uh, and then the uh, on the other side I'll put the uh, the gate when I know that it is the proper dimension so this pipe is 22 inches I'm just going to use it as a template and uh, I'll drill around that the whole thing and dig it out hopefully this evening I will do one thing with the dirt is I'll pile it around in a ring. That way if there's a flood I don't have to worry about the water washing in from the field and filling that up. It'll just be what it catches from the uh, rain. But uh, honestly there's no rain in the forecast here in this part of Texas for uh, at least the next month. This is hard living down here. Sun is now down below the edge of the horizon. 
I'm gonna turn it off and finish this hole up. Tomorrow I'm hoping to pour concrete, we'll see. All right, I've got the hole dug, uh, which isn't easy in Texas soil. <laughs> Last night or the night before, I've done a bunch of work. Uh, so now I'm gonna set up the form here that I can use to cast um, the concrete pillar and uh, I'll use 20 bags of concrete, which is 1,600 pounds, to hold the post in place so the gate doesn't, doesn't move loose. So um, I looked at it, and I uh, two foot, three foot hole, uh, two foot or three foot around should, should hold it just fine. I'm just going to pour my concrete straight into the hole, so I'll end up wetting that first so it doesn't wick all the moisture away. And um, I'll set up the form that I'm going to use to stack stones in, and then I'll cast concrete inside of the stones and just kind of make it all, all at once for the limestone skirting. I've got four or five of these that I picked up down through the years. Uh, I'm going to use them, uh, hopefully just one. I'll split it, and I'll cut out the bottom there. Oh, I've got a line right there. So right on that bottom, I'll cut it out and I'll stack stones around the inside of it, pour mud in it with the post. That should be adequate to hold that up. I've got some uh, old fence here that I'm going to use as a support for the uh, form and I believe that'll, that'll hold it just fine. In addition, uh, the fence post holder will go on the middle of it. So let me go ahead and cut these up. piece of old pipe um, metal fence. got a circular pattern on the bottom that I'm going to use so let me just do that Okay, I hope the wisdom of my plan shows up for you. This old pipe gate here is a couple of hundred pounds. It's 16 foot long, so that's a lot of leverage there. So that means on the pipe itself, which I'll end up greasing, sliding back down in the pipe, be a lot of tension, especially when I open it. So I need a lot of concrete. So my math says that that's 1,600 pounds of concrete. So the, the lever, 16 foot long on a 200 foot, uh, 200 pound lever, I believe that a three foot around, you know, three foot, actually four foot deep concrete pier will hold that without ever going this way or that way. So, and then I use old fence post here. See that? I cut it up. 
used it to support the bottom, cut this uh, plastic bin out, notched it around the pipe. Now I'll zip tie it with stainless steel. My goal, if I can, will be to remove this from the concrete when I'm done pouring it and reuse it over there for that side with an equal looking uh, limestone facade around there. Now, why did I put limestone in there? Well, I, this one will take me a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack limestone in the inside like that all the way around. So when I pour the concrete, I'll uh, also build the uh, the uh, limestone wall at the same time, mortarless, just stack stone. I think that'll look pretty good. So what do I need to do? I need to level the post. I need to chip concrete. I also probably put some um, old uh, wire in there to keep the uh, and bend it over here. So an old piece of fence down in there to keep the concrete, uh, the limestone from falling into the concrete as I pour it. And then I'll allow, you know, I'll feather it here, give it a few minutes, make another batch, let add it there, and hopefully it won't squish everything out. Uh, and uh, then I could drop that pipe back in there. So I can see right now that it's not level because right now the gate will touch this and I don't necessarily want it. But that's an appropriate height for me as I'm eyeballing it. Once that's done and I've got that in there, then I'll know exactly where to put the, uh, the rest here and a rest back there for my gate so that it can rest on it. So all I need to do is get that all lined up. Let me go ahead and do that now. So now that I've got the form in there, I've tightened up the base in there. I'm just going to do a rough level. I know when I pour the mud, I'm either going to have to brace it so that I keep uh, level. But if I get it level enough, it'll want to stay level in the hole. So that's my goal. <laughs> we'll see how close to it I can get. Well, I'm pretty happy with that work. It went faster than I thought. So if I can retrieve this form out from it all, I will at the end. If not, I'll just cut it out <laughs> and throw it away. But I'm hoping I can reuse that, repurpose that form. Now, the only reason why I think I can't is because I left the ledge for me to stack the uh, sandstone on. So now I'm gonna get a stone chisel and I'm gonna start um, breaking stones and uh, stacking them all the way around on the inside there 
once I get that stacked to the top it'll be ready for me to pour mud uh, and lastly I'll either use rebar or something in there to leave make sure that the stone wall stays a stone wall and doesn't fall over but pretty happy with this overall I've got it uh, square plumb for the moment <laughs> the whole fence as well as all uh, stainless steel zip tied so that it's not going to come apart I, when I pour the concrete I'll, I'll probably tape that so that it doesn't uh, you know um, although I, I will have the stone coming uh, I, I, I think I'll leave it be I think I'll be fine all right loving it loving it you can all get the vision now and that's the size of what the stone pillar will look like itself from a distance so that'll be plenty of mass around that post it's reasonably balanced mm, ish yeah I'm gonna call it reasonably if the center post it looks a little off because the uh, the chain link post is um, and it's really not crooked that's a trick of the uh, lens but um, anyway the chain link fence looks a little off but that is actually almost center I'm gonna leave it I like it I'll do something similar on this side oh look how the look who's come to join me you guys had to add enough lunch huh dinner actually it's late dinner old blaze has seen some stuff all right Hank you have a good day all right blaze you have a good day they don't like change. Horses are creatures that don't like change. All right, now I've got this uh, all level the way I want it. So what I need to do is chisel stones in the round. I'm just going to make a couple of references here. I'm going to guess all righty let's see if we can real quick make these round let's see how much effort this is going to take All right, well, that was a pretty quick truing up of that. I'm just going to go with that. And what we'll do is I left a little ledge there. So then we'll, we'll put the stones in like that. And away we go. We'll see, I didn't even need to chip that one shoulder off. I could have left it.
All right, I'm gonna use concrete crack sealer to kind of go down in there and pinch them all in and start mudding them in pre-mud. For when I pour, I don't want mud scooching out through the crack. Well, there's row number one. I'll go ahead and keep working, get the rest of it all done. <sighs> Hot though, it's 106 right now. All right, so then I gave a little shot of concrete sealer ready-made in between all the cracks. I'll also spray a little on top to stack it. You know, that ought to do it. So row one done, looks okay. We're gonna do row two now. It is awfully hot, 106, so I don't know how long I can work out here. It is evening time and the temperature's dropping. But what is that? You know, 106 down to, oh, 104. Ridiculous. I don't know where I put my little hand. All right, so now for the second row, I gotta make sure the stones don't wobble. I want them to rest nat natively, so I'm gonna put chips underneath each one to level it out. All right, row two's in there. And I'm in mudding in between with that squeeze stuff. So then I'll do a row three. Maybe I'll go all the way to the top there. That's what I'll do. I didn't bring any water, so I don't know how much longer I can work out here.
All right, behind me, I'm only a row or row and a half away, depending on how you look at it. Anyway, I found a stone that'll let me notch around that pipe, so I'm just gonna chip that out. What I don't wanna do is, is crack the stone. So, uh, you know, I'm just pecking at it with a, if y'all watch Shawshank Redemption, a stone hammer, which is a hammer for stones. Just a little bit at a time. Now you could cut this out if you want, but it would take a lot longer and it makes a, a lot more dust. I don't have a respirator on now because really I'm not making that much dust while I do that. Okay, so now you can see I've got a channel there to put the pipe through it, see? Second one of these, this is working out pretty good, this uh, quick crete, gray concrete crack sealer. I mean, all I need to do is stick it in place um, until I uh, pour concrete. Now, <laughs> don't build a real wall out of this. This is just a um, concrete, a facade around a concrete post to hold it in. The reason why mortar is softer than stone is because if you build a wall, you want the crack to follow along the mortar so you can fix it. But if you make the crack, uh, the mortar out of concrete, it'll be harder than the stone. And then the cracks will go through the stone and ruin the stone you have there. It's just a post in the ground. I don't care where the cracks go. And uh, furthermore, since I'm not, um, I'm just stack stoning it and then filling it with concrete, the cracks should just not even go through the stones at all. They should still follow along. But uh, don't mix this product up. Use them correctly. In this particular case, this is working for me. I use stone chips, a little bit of this to hold it in place while I do the next row. It's no big deal. But you can't mortar with this stuff. Not a, not a wall, not something important. You know, a, a post in the middle of a hay field. You know, no big deal. All I'm doing is making concrete decorative. Uh, you know, so from the eye or a distance, it'll look like, wow. And look, I'm doing two things at once. I'm building the form for the concrete and I'm putting the stone around it at once. Saving me the time in this heat. Wow, saving all the time in the world is important. Let me put this stone in place. All right, right there's where I pecked it out. Oh, it fits right in there. Let me see if it fits in there better. Oh yeah. Does it fits in there better? That might be my last row, even. Right. See how it wobbles? I don't want that, so I'm going to get a stone chip. I'm going to push a stone chip in there to level it out so it's solid. I want it wobbling. There we go. All right, my pipe will pass through there, go into the concrete. I still haven't decided on rebar in there or not. Uh, probably not. I might throw a bunch of these chips in the concrete when I pour it just to get them out of the way. And if it does start cracking and it comes and hits that limestone, it'll dissolve up that limestone and hopefully suck it into the cracks. Quick lime would do that for me better. It is getting evening time.
All right, with the, the heat, I'm real happy with what I got done. I have the post in, uh, the supports in, I have the, uh, the facade all in and uh, partially mudded in place right I'll go in there and reinforce it so when I pour concrete I'll pour concrete out there then I'll pour concrete in here up to this height and then I'll end up putting a capstone around it so it looks decent ah man that looks good so I have to put the cement mixer on my uh, tractor so uh, this I'll probably mix this up as uh, step 4a you know because not everybody's going to have a, a tractor cement mixer and that deserves its own a PTO driven cement mixer deserves its own video uh, I am off grid so I have to be able to take the cement mixer to where the water is and fill it up and bring it back that kind of a thing so anyway this is Steve of thousand year homes uh, this is enough you see that I've got the uh, the foundation ready to pour for that post and when it's all even and level I'll check it one more time when I do pour it and then I'll be able to put a pipe gate in there like subscribe follow me along bye Ooh. How nice, how nice, how nice, like it.